Hello, my name is Alejandra Castañón. I'm an epidemiologist at the Wilson Institute of Preventive Medicine at Queen Mary University of London. I would like to tell you about our study assessing the risk of preterm birth in women who have been treated for precancerous cervical disease. Several studies have shown an increased risk of premature delivery following treatment for cervical disease, particularly as the depth of tissue excision increases. However, it remains unclear whether there is a safe death at which no increased risk of premature birth exists. So our study aims to assess the risk of premature birth by the depth of excision or tissue removed at the time of treatment for a precancerous cervical disease. This is a nested case control study. To be eligible, women had to have at least one histological sample taken at one of 12 colposcopy clinics in England and a live birth. We identified all women with a preterm birth then selected their first birth and matched this to a birth in women that only had term births. This way we ensured that there was only one birth per woman included in the analysis. Births at 37 gestational weeks were excluded to allow a clear divide between term and preterm births. Details of all colposcopy appointments and pathology reports were requested to assess the type of excisional treatment and the depth of the excision. Our study is different from the published literature in that we include a group of women that received a diagnostic punch biopsy only as a comparison group. After exclusions, 768 preterm births and 830 term births were eligible for analysis. Results by depth of excision show that risk of preterm birth was no greater in women with a previous small excision than in women with a diagnostic punch biopsy. The risk was 7.5% in those with a small excision compared to 7.2% in those with a punch biopsy. For comparison purposes, the risk in the general population was 6.7%. However, compared to those that had small excisions, women with larger excisions that were deeper than 10 millimeters did have a higher risk of preterm birth. The absolute risk among those with a medium excision was 9.6%. Among those with a large excision, it was 15.5%, and it was 18% among those with very large excision. Results for very preterm birth were similar. Excisions that were very deep carried a three-fold relative risk. That corresponds to an absolute risk of 6.4%, compared to 2% in those with a small excision, and 1.4% in the general population. Finally, a word of caution about our study. Our results were robust to several sensitivity analyses. However, we have very limited information on confounding factors such as smoking. Additionally, the quality of our data was dependent on routinely collected databases. In conclusion, the risk of premature delivery is similar among those that have small excisional procedures and those who attend colposcopy but only have a diagnostic biopsy taken. One in six women who have a large excision will go on to have a premature birth. Finally, I would like to thank our co-authors, the PAC study group and our funders, without whom this study would not have been possible.